here at Cross Estate Agents uh, for a midweek live viewing. Uh, we're here at Brayton Avenue, uh, it's a four bed, semi detached property. Uh, as you can see, this one here that we're looking at, it's a traditional, obviously, double fronted, uh, double bay fronted, uh, semi detached house. It backs onto the school field, um, and location wise, down Brayton Avenue, uh, you've got Fisher Place there, uh, next street up there is uh, Reynolds Street, so it's a top end, sort of towards Clee Road. Um, so there's a you know, nice row of semis here, as you can see. As usual, any questions, uh, please do feel free to ask. But it's on the market for 159950 uh, It's been on for a couple of weeks. Um, we have, we've got viewings on it at the moment. So do feel free to uh, give us a call and get booked in. So as you go through the front door, you've got this uh, full glazed um, internal porch door, which then opens out onto the, uh, well, the entrance hallway. So you've got the period uh, panelling up, up the, well, from the hall up to the uh, landing area, up the stairs, uh, painted grey, and you've got the original parquet flooring, which is uh, a nice feature to keep. The rest of the decor, as you can see, is just white, uh, white painted woodwork, white painted walls, uh, and a grey carpet up the stairs. Now the first room um, on the right hand side is, is the lounge. Um, new internal cottage panel doors have been fitted and obviously you've got your front bay window there but the uh, the lounge itself is a really good size you've got uh, two radiators one large one in the window and then another one there so heat is uh, is no problem at all you've got the chimney breast which has obviously been uh, blocked up but then overall just a really good sized room as I mentioned, helped by the uh, the deep bay window to the front. You got a couple of wall lights there as well to add to the, the single pendant on the ceiling. You may have noticed, obviously, it's got new carpets. It's been decorated, so there are a couple of uh, minor finishing touches. Just a bit of paintwork needs touching up, and some of the plug sockets just to be um, fixed to the walls again. But just you know, little finishing touches like that. Now, as we look back, uh, that's the view, obviously, uh, from on the back of the uh, entrance hallway. You've got your parquet flooring. You've got the paneling which runs underneath the stairs. Uh, a couple of cupboards, which is ideal for storage. And then obviously your front porch door there, bringing lots of light in through through the front. And the next room, uh, again on the right, is, is the kitchen. Again with the uh, cottage panel door. It's had new flooring put in. It's an oak veneer kitchen uh, with this sort of metro tile splashback which runs around. So obviously this side here, you've got the, um, well, the wall and the base units, which gives good storage. You've got a space then here, obviously where these ladders are. For a good size fridge freezer and then just round this corner it's an l-shaped kitchen so as you come round this corner you've then got another space with more storage units um where you would have your sort of freestanding cooker there but again fully tiled throughout you've got your back door there as well with large windows so it's a nice bright space it's nice it's clean nice and tidy plenty of storage and still lots of potential um, to do to do lots with it uh, we think it's a, a very attractive price at 159950 Um uh, If you look at what else is on the market, you normally sort of pick up three beds for sort of around the 155, 160 mark. So at 159950 it does offer very good value for money. So this is the second of the reception rooms uh, located to the back of the uh, property looking out onto the back garden. Another great double sized room finished off in just a, a white paint with grey carpets. Your big like large radiator there. And then you've got your garage in the back garden. I will show you uh, the back garden um, last when I come from downstairs. So it's got two very good sized reception rooms to the ground floor. And then obviously you've got your kitchen. So downstairs space is very good. Um, now upstairs. So as we go on top of the landing area, you'll see the panelling sort of continues up to on here and then you've got some more storage cupboards there, which airing cupboards, which are very handy to have. Um, I'll start off in the first bedroom that we come to, which is here on the left hand side. Again, cottage panel doors. 
just finishing a white paint, grey carpet. And as you can see, that's where it looks out, just onto the school fields. So it's nice and private at the back, there's nobody sort of like looking out onto the back of you. And there is um, storage cupboards in here as well, double ones as you can see, which gives good storage. Brand new carpets and just white neutral decor. Same in most of the bedrooms to be fair. This is the uh, second of the bedrooms. Again, as you can see, it looks out on, onto the school field. And there's also another window there as well, which looks out onto the neighboring houses in the field again. But it's got two windows, so it's a nice dual aspect view. It's nice and bright. And it's just got your, uh, your grey feature wall along, that, along the wall there and then the cottage panel door there. But it's a good, good double size room. Uh, probably the, uh, the second bedroom this is. Um, the one I just showed you there was the, uh, the third bedroom. So next I will show you the fourth bedroom. So this is the smallest of the bedrooms but I hope you can tell it is actually still big enough for a a, a double bed or even just a, a single um, and a you know, chest of drawers and wardrobes but again all neutral large window to the rear with your uh, gas central heated radiator and then the master bedroom which is located over the lounge so you do also gain here the bay window. Similar to the lounge in the fact that it's got your, your chimney breast there, obviously got a radiator on it and a radiator at the front so it's nice and it's a nice warm room. Bay window, so sort of just looking out onto uh, onto Brighton Avenue. Full UPVC double glazing. Uh, it's got a Worcester Bosch uh, gas central heated boiler, so all that's in in good order. Uh, back onto the landing area, and you'll see the bathroom now. So the bathroom. Uh, so I recently had this new uh, flooring put down, along with the uh, you know, the grey towel rail heater, and you've obviously got your toilet your sink and then the, uh, the tile shower surround with the waterfall shower and sort of p-shaped bath but it's a nice modern finish as you can tell by the the shower and the tiling um, and the flooring and then you've got the rear the rear window there but the uh, the gray tile rail heater is always handy to have as well So that's the that's the property. I'll show you outside now. So through the kitchen, you've got the double gates there, which lead then down sort of the side of the house. You've got a cupboard there, which actually houses the uh, the Worcester Bosch boiler. It's a bit of a storage cupboard as well, which is always handy. And then through these double gates and you are into the back garden so you've got a garage there which offers again great storage it's a really good size so it's obviously that's the curved bay window from the rear reception room and then the nice and tidy back garden which has obviously got all the plants and the bushes said before behind that is the uh, is a school field small section of lawn as you can see but it's still a decent size ideal if you've got kids or any pets and then the last thing to mention um, would be the uh, the use of this uh, down well downstairs stroke outside toilet so it's all tiled throughout as you can see and it's got a new new toilet there but handy to have Especially if, again if you've got children or if you're having a party or anything like that in the garden.
And there we have it. So that's the property. Um, any questions, obviously, do feel free to comment below or just ring the office and ask. Um, it's uh, Brayton Avenue, number 391. Uh, four bed, semi detached property. It's been on the market a couple of weeks and it's on the market for 159950. Um, obviously vendor is keen to sell so if you are interested do book a viewing in I'm sure there's some sort of deal that can be done um, but uh, yeah just give us a call thank you very much for joining us 